video. So it looks like Elizabeth May has come out and said there's actually no foreign interference and that there's no list of these 11 MPs that have committed treason. So let's have a look at this video and we'll talk about it after like usual. We're learning more tonight about the bombshell report released last week by an intelligence watchdog that suggested some elected officials in Canada colluded with foreign powers. Elizabeth May is the first party leader, other than the Prime Minister, to read an unredacted version, and she says the media firestorm is overblown. David Aiken has more on May's revelations. David. Well, for our Green Party leader, Elizabeth May has read the blacked out portions of last week's report from the National Security and Intelligence Committee of Parliamentarians, or NSICOP. Now, like the MPs and senators on NSICOP, May cannot reveal any names or details of any of the secrets that she now knows. But after reading that report, she had this clear message for Canadians. For myself, I can say, I have no worries about anyone in the House of Commons. There is you no should. list of MPs who have shown disloyalty to Canada. Now, the NSICOP report did say that a former member of Parliament knowingly provided confidential information to a foreign intelligence officer. May says the name of that former MP was not in the unredacted report she saw, but she did see enough there to be outraged. That person should be fully investigated and prosecuted. As for demands by conservatives and others that the government name names in the Enzogop report? I think we're talking about smoke and mirrors and political posturing. All those in favor of the motion. In the meantime, MPs from all parties except May and the other Green MP, Mike Morris, voted to expand the mandate of the public inquiry into foreign interference to ask it to consider naming the names in the Ensicop report. Mr. Speaker, in favor. It was a vote that disappointed former CSIS analyst Stephanie Carvin. You know, for a, a parliament that has been so engaged on national security issues, like we've almost never seen before, is suddenly kind of shirking at its responsibility when the call is coming from inside the House. And this is a real problem for Canadian democracy. Carvin and other experts say more party leaders need to do what May has done, read the full report for themselves. Now, NDP leader Jagmeet Singh and Bloc Québécois leader Yves-François Blanchet expect to do so in the coming days. Conservative leader Pierre Poiliev has declined such a briefing. Far. Right, and why has Pierre Poiliev declined a briefing? Because let's be honest, even if he sees the report, he sees the names that apparently does not exist, he can't do anything about it anyway or he could be put in jail. You can't just release names from a document that is not open to the public. Why won't they open it to the public? Well, of course, you got to do your due diligence and you got to make sure you're not giving away whatever. Although apparently they have no problem giving away secrets to other countries, right? Um, but eventually, in very, in very short order, this should be released to the public. We deserve to know. We are the employers. They are our employees. They don't have to release the whole document. Just release the names. We're not asking for 500 pages or 100 pages, 200, whatever it is, just the 11 names. And if there really isn't 11 names, then you would have to release eventually the full document. But to say, well, Pierre Polyev doesn't want to do it. Yeah, he doesn't want to do it because he can't act on it if he finds out some that there's something going on. You're not allowed to do that. So, I mean, listen, this is... <laughs> This whole like Chinese interference, it, it's clearly a huge threat and it needs to be taken very seriously. And I know that they can't just declassify every document just like that. It does take time. I get it. But this has to be done in short order because we deserve to see it. We deserve to know who these MPs are if this happens to be true. And if there really is no list or maybe the list isn't in there, well, we need to find out who is on it, who did it, who betrayed this country, and who should be going to jail. End of story. And then, once those names are, are released, then the MPs can act on that. And if it's a conservative, and there's some liberals, and there's some NDPs, and 
maybe it's Elizabeth May and her other seat members. Uh, maybe maybe those names are on it. Maybe it's May and her seat, the other seat member. Who knows? That's the problem. We don't know, and we need to find out as soon as possible. If there's treason going on, the people deserve to know about it. If there really isn't, fine. If there's a proper investigation, fine. But I don't think anyone here believes Elizabeth May when she says, no, there's nothing to worry about. Nothing to worry about? You sure about that? Because in the video I saw earlier, she actually said that, uh, you know, this it, we uh, this isn't that we just need to, you know, throw it away and say, hey, there's nothing to see here. We still need to investigate. Okay, yeah. But if there needs to be an investigation on treason in this country, and then for you to say, well, I'm not worried at all, you should be a little bit concerned that there's going to be an investigation, or hopefully there's going to be an investigation on this treason, potentially treasonous act. So it's not like she has a good reputation for, you know, she's she got the she's got the nickname Dizzy Lizzie for a reason, right? I mean, let's be honest, she's not the most credible uh, credible person. So we'll just go over the documents, investigate it, and if there's names, release the names to the public. That's all we're asking for. And then once you receive those names, act accordingly. This isn't rocket science. I understand it takes time. There's due process, yada, yada, yada. Get it done as fast as possible and release the names. So that's going to be it for this video, guys. I appreciate you watching. Please don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. It really helps us grow. Thank you again so much for watching, and I'll be back shortly with another video.